Hello gang. Hello friends. Hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well if you're new. Hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff, nail stuff and stuff. She does my nail stuff with nail stuff and stuff for nails. <laughs> I'm naked. Don't look at me. Today we are going to try out this new trend, the Optical Illusion French, where we have an ombre going from left to right and then the French bit, the same colours, but the other way round. So we're going to use two Madame Glam polishes. We have Office Gossip and Lavender Springs. You can use code MISSJO30 for a whopping 30% off your orders at Madame Glam. Can we just stop shouting to start with, please? This is a place of calm and quiet. <laughs> so we are doing the dark purple, the office gossip on the left, and then the lavender springs on the right. And then I'm going to take the Madame Glam application brush. Oh my goodness, best thing ever for vertical ombres. I've not done a vertical ombre since I've had this brush. And wow. I'm, it's it's perfect for it. Just doing some light strokes, top to bottom, try and get it in one stroke, very light, and then cure that. The first coat, don't worry too much about having this perfect blend. I mean, worry a little bit about your blend, but don't overexert yourself with worry. So we cured that, and now we're doing the second coat exactly the same I think I've brought the purple over, the dark one over a bit too much to the left but that's fine and then again using this brush just to do some light strokes but I'm moving the brush a little bit to the left and then a little bit to the right so that we are getting this blend the pictures I saw I've only seen a few pictures but they seem to be kind of a streaky ombre and I'm wondering if that's part of I don't know just highlighting the design or you know whether it's meant to be a little bit streaky but I didn't worry too much um, I know ombres can be a bit stressful but don't worry don't worry about it just go for it I procrastinated doing this for hours and it went a lot quicker and easier than expected so especially with that brush the ombre was I mean you'll see here so now I've put the dark purple on the other side the light purple on the other side only about halfway and just did a few quick strokes there. Not too much pressure because you'll wipe everything off. Um, it was a light pressure just to let the colours kind of blend together. And again, moving a little bit left and a little bit right to bring each one into the other one. And then I wiped my brush on a lint wipe that's got some isopropyl alcohol on it. And I just swiped away a smile line. And this brush did wonders for that the shape of it just worked really well that was the thing that I was worried I was going to fail miserably at and it just happened it just happened really easily with it um I will show you again in a sec so now I'm before curing obviously we've wiped away this polish before curing our second ombre we'll call it so I've dipped my brush into each color and just neatened up the smile line with it. I watched a Dorota Palica video and that's what she she did and I thought that was a really good idea. So just to make the line between the two ombres a bit more crisp with um, a detail brush. So we're going to do the same again. We'll go through it again. It, it seems like this is going quickly but this is all normal speed. It was just happening quickly. Maybe because I was worried that I wasn't going to do a good job of it so I was like let's just hurry up and get this done but it just kind of worked so I only did a couple of strokes there for the first coat of ombre it's not too thick that coat um, and then this second coat will give it a little bit more attention so we're going to put our colors down and then again with the Madame Glam application brush clean just some light strokes and then moving a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. I probably should have gone left first, 
to take it over into the darker one. Um, and then I wasn't happy with this blend because even though the pictures I saw were streaky, I find it really difficult for my brain to intentionally do it streaky. So I'm just dipping half my brush into the light purple and half into the dark and I'm just working on the center. So I don't need to worry about this being a third coat all over the whole nail because we're just working on that center bit. And if your first coat's super opaque and fantastic, you could just work on the center bit for the second coat. But uh, it just meant that I could work on the ombre more without adding a whole other layer to the nail. So we did that and then we cured it, full cure. And now we're adding our colors again on the opposite sides. Don't cure it yet, which is what I almost did on the first one. We'll blend these. Do you see? Just a few light strokes. And that was, I was happy with that blend. And then I've wiped my brush again. And I'm using quite a bit of pressure here to push and get this crisp. I've got hiccup brewing. I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. I can feel it in my stomach. Um, I'm putting quite a lot of pressure down to swipe away the smile line. And then again, I'm just using a detail brush, a striper brush, just to neaten up these um, the smile line, make it nice and crisp. Um, did I say I saw a Dorota Palica video? I think I did, yes, and that's what she did. And then she did this, and I thought it was amazing. Just swiped away a swoop, and I'm going to push really hard and let the bristles get me a curve on the right-hand side there, because I wasn't doing the best job of it with like manually with my hand now I'm doing some maths in my head trying to work out what to do for the next one right get it in the lamp woman just get that shit in the lamp so she did that by accident she was well she was going to do something else but left it at that because it looked nice and I think it looks amazing but make sure you take that sweep far enough over to the right that you see the light purple from the first ombre does that make sense? So the stuff you're removing from the second ombre, you want to see both colours of the first ombre behind it when you wipe it away. I'll do it again on this nail. Hopefully it'll make more sense. So again, just some light strokes with this brush. And I'm doing quite a few. I think I was getting more and more... Um, I was working more on my ombre with each nail that I did because I was enjoying myself. I'd been worried about doing it, but now it was kind of going okay. I thought, right, let's let's do this properly. So I'm swiping away here with a clean wiped brush. It's a bit damp, but it's not completely wet with prep solution or isopropyl alcohol because that will bleed our edges. It won't give us a crisp edge. So I'm putting pressure down to let the bristles splay. See that? where it just all splayed out, that's going to give me that curve because the brush will push out and as it comes back together, it's going to curl round. Open your hand wide with your fingers spread and then press, press your pinky down and then press each finger down and you see as it kind of, that that's not helpful at all, Joe. how it kind of sweeps round in a curve. That made no sense. So we did the same, <laughs> we did the same. Trying to explain things is so hard sometimes, especially when there's a visual, because you feel like it's not really necessary anyway. My apologies. We'll do it the same on this one. I'll try and do better. So here we go, ready? <laughs> we are doing some light strokes with this brush on our second ombre, our second, our reversed ombre just some light strokes left a bit right a bit and then we're going to push down and let the bristles splay out and they come back round to themselves in a curve and that was just easier than trying to keep the brush not splayed and make a curve it just wasn't working for me so again wiping the brush that's a very wet lint wipe so the brush is wet but it's not dripping wet um because, like I say, that's going to 
start to disperse our wet polish and then just cleaning up and again that that bit at the bottom right we've made sure that there's the light purple from the first ombre showing and then here we'll make sure there's the dark purple again splaying the brush out to let it sweep round and give us a curve and then remove everything from here this gap here and technically that's like wiping a nail and then not buffing it before going over it with the next step which if you've seen my videos already you know I harp on about all the fucking live long day but we're just not worrying about that today <laughs> so we've cured that and this is what we have so far I am in love with this I think it looks so cool and I wanted to do some stuff to it which I did do to a different one I'll show you at the end but I thought no it's too nice we need to kind of leave it as much as as is as possible <laughs> the fuck kind of sentence was that as much as is as possible yeah um so we're just going to take the <laughs> Madame Glam uh, gold gel paint. This stuff is amazing. And we're going to just put a, just some lines that match the pattern we've created. You could do this on the line. So on that smile line, you could do this. But I feel like you'd lose a bit of the illusion because it would sort of cut it off. So we're going above it because I didn't want to distract from just how cool it looks for the ombre to change with no border. Do you know what I mean? Does that make... I think it does. I think it makes sense. So we are... this. The two Frenches, we're going to... Oh, didn't I just do a French? Oh, no, that was the French that had the, the curvy bit at the bottom as well. So on these ones, we're going to do a very thin cuff at the top. Just brush thickness, not heavy pressure on the brush, not a light pressure, just a normal pressure. Pressure, 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 till it just don't stop. That's not the words. Great song though. So now we are topping with the Madame Glam No Wipe Shiny Top Coat. Shiny top, of course, of course. Oh, topping, when you go over that, that's why I kind of went up and down on the gold bit at first, because it just twinkles as you're topping it, it's very satisfying. Uh, what else is happening now? We're going to, I'm going to show you another nail that I did and just thought that didn't go with the set. Oh, look at this bit of floof. <gasps> Get the fluff out of here. It was huge. Um, yes, I, I, there was something I wanted to do. Being me, I wanted to cover everything with stars and clouds and things but I resisted because I didn't want to detract from just how awesome the kind of illusion looks but I did do it on one and extra one we have a bonus nail coming up um have I have I been helpful I'm not sure I'm not so sure that I have I this didn't take long to do at all I was very surprised if you're procrastinating trying it like I was just do it just try it because if you've got especially if you've got that Madame Glam application brush but whatever you normally use to do an ombre will be fine but just go for it because I was so surprised at how um easy it was oh bonus nail da, 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 da. so we're doing uh this bit in two parts what was I saying yeah this all happened very quickly I was watching a film I thought I'll put something on that I've seen a few times so I don't get distracted so I put Black Panther on because I, I love that film but silly me I love that film so I was massively distracted but even with the distraction this the raw footage of this video is like half an hour so it it was quick um right maybe that's why I went for purples because I was watching Black Panther I bet that's why, because it took me about half an hour to pick colours. And then I put that on and went for purple. Anyway, um, this one here, we're going to do this bit in two parts. So we've done a second ombre at the top, giving them a blend and then swiped away. And then we're curing it. 
because we're going to do the same at the bottom. I was just trying different different things. Um, but when we swipe away this bit, obviously we don't want to affect the bit, the top bit. So we had to cure that. So again, just a few strokes of this brush. Move it a tiny bit to the left, a tiny bit to the right with each downward stroke you do to take the colours into each other. And then before curing, we're going to wipe away from the centre um, at a diagonal. So that I was going for this kind of, you know, triangle thing. But I don't think it went with the rest of the set or what I had planned for the rest of the set. So I just messed around with it after this. We're neatening again our edges with a detail brush. And then I, I thought I wanted to cover everything with stars and clouds and dot stars. But it was just too pretty too. So I tried it on this one because I knew this wasn't going to be part of the final set. And I love it. But I didn't want to sort of take away I didn't want the the feature to be stars and clouds and like a moon or something I wanted it to be this effect so we left it so this is this is the norm and normal lighting well, it was quite dark up there actually when I was filming um but then I do shine my phone torch on it so you can see it a bit better but the it what they are deep the office gossip is a really deep dark well it's deep and dark but it's also bright and vibrant <laughs> we all okay with that description great um i hope you like these i hope this has been helpful if you do have any questions comment below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button i appreciate you being here so so much and i will see you in the next one bye -bye.